What is up, everybody? How's it going today? We are back for another introduction round. This week, we are at the Maury Point Golf Club. This is for the CCA 2020 season, week number 10 for the Amazon Prime Golf Classic. Hopefully, everybody's having a good weekend so far. Give you a little update. Uh, for last week, we finished, for Master Clubs, 30th. Uh, we need to be top 15, as it was pointed out to me, which is correct. You need to be top 15 to get a promotion mark. Uh, overall, I finished 71st for what I thought were four pretty good rounds, but it was a middle of the pack finish, which is all right. At least we didn't get a demotion mark. But this week, we we I got to get on this promotion mark train because I really want to get up the corn ferry. We need to get kick it into high gear. We need four really good rounds here at the Maury Point Golf Club. It does look like we're going to be battling some hazards. So that should be fun for this week. How about how did everybody's rounds go? Did you guys get promotion marks, demotion mark, middle of the pack finishes? Let me know in the comments how, uh, how you did. I have not played this course yet, so it is uh, going to be an introduction not only to you but to me as well playing default everything pin selection number one um we have fairways firm greens firm and green speed is medium fast so i'll have to see how that plays out i'm guessing since it's going to be along the coast the default wind speed is going to be fairly high so we'll see we'll see if if that is the case or not uh, but just from the pictures the course looks absolutely gorgeous so i'm very excited to get in and play this course so how about we do that let's get going this is the introduction for maury point golf club for the week 10 amazon prime golf classic for the cca tour let's get started so here we are hole number one it's a short short little short little par four default wind speed is actually low for this uh, we got a perfectly placed bunker i'm gonna guess probably we're gonna be able to play it down here for some of the rounds i'm gonna try to keep this high though so we have more green to work with coming in here and we should be able to just roll this along the right side Fast it, but that's gonna be all right. That should stay true. Right along the left side here. We're gonna get a little light rough. That's all right. We can lob wedges in. Pulled it slightly. That should check up nicely. It does. All right, let's see what these greens look like. A little bit of break to them. I like how they have it so that you can actually taper off the back side of the screen. That's nice. Let's see how they break. Decent amount of break to them. All right. We start off with a birdie, though. Need huge rounds, huge, huge, huge rounds. I mean, I, I'm the course itself looks gorgeous. I like how it's like mountains, but you also get some water, and you're along the coast for some of the holes too. Uh, overall, this looks very, very gorgeous. Ooh, this is a fun little green. I bet one round it's going to be right there. Right up there. Yeah, this is a fun little green here. Uh, it's going to be tough to get this one close because it breaks off to the left here. This little hill. See what we can do. I pulled it again slightly. Should come back. Nope, didn't get that hill. We're just short. This is going to be an interesting putt. Oh, yeah, look at that break on that thing. All right. These greens have a decent amount of break to them, too. And we're coming out of a yellow. So this is probably going to break quite a bit. We just got to watch out for hitting it too hard because there is a little bit of downslope past the hole. Whew. Good thing if we, dude, if we wouldn't have hit the cup there, that thing was cruising. Another birdie, though. I like the green so far. They are nice. You're definitely probably going to want to play below the hole, that's for sure. 
Oh, we got a seven mile an hour wind to our right. We're gonna have to We're gonna have to draw this into the wind to try to keep this in the fairway. A lot of light rough though. The light rough is actually pretty big. If we're playing from the light rough, that's actually alright. Oh boy. Man, I'm pulling it today. Oh, that's OB right there. Okay, that's good to know. Pulled it again. I'll have to get that figured out. Alright, so if you go too far to the left, that is all OB over there. Probably going to be taking home... A poopy little bogey. Hmm, fasting everything, too. Alright. This is a hole to forget. Ooh, these greens. These greens are not playing games. Ooh. Button pretty well, though. So we saved a bogey. All right, so don't go too far left. You go too far left, that's OB. Good to know for later. Probably going to want to play this down. So it'll give you more green to work with. I'll try three wood and see if the three wood gets... If that's too much club. It's probably going to be too much club. It might not be. We'll see. There we go. Still pulled at it slightly. Let's see if this is too much club or not. We have the wind at her back, too. That is going to be too much club. All right. No. Little too much, but again, playing from the light rough, not that bad. Not only am I pulling, I'm my my backswing is starting to the left. So let's get that figured out. Pooch this up here. Alright, save the par there. First par five. Wind's in her face a little bit. Oh, that... Oh, man, you gotta play this, like, deep left side here. Or else you're gonna just be playing from the rough. This is... Slopes all the way to the left the whole time. We'll try to draw this in a little bit. There we go. Oh, okay, we're good. Yeah, if you do not hit that right, you're going to be playing from the rough the whole time. That's an interesting, interesting fairway there. That to run a little bit. Ah, didn't get up the hill. That's all right. So we're gonna have a little bit of an uphill, uphill putt, but that's okay. I needed that to run a little bit more. Well, that's all right. This putt actually isn't. This putt actually isn't that bad, other than it being very. I mean, a foot up. Not a whole lot of break to this though. Hardly any break, really. Let's do a little outside cup. Hmm, outside cup. Too much. That straightened out right at the beginning just because I was on a little bit of a... little bit of break to the, to the right before it came back left. That's actually not a bad place to end up, though. You can pretty much hit that thing straight. It's not a bad place to end. So remember that for... Uh, for first round for our rounds. 
If we even have a chance. Gonna be bunker. Even if, if we even have a chance, honestly. We'll see where the wind where the wind is. They're, these bunkers actually aren't that deep though, so that's good for to get out of, to play it out of. These these bunkers aren't too deep. So we'll be able to hit out of a lot of these. Even if you get into trouble, dang, didn't get there. Even if you get into trouble, we'll be able to hit out of them. I kind of want to putt this. Mm, no, I'm not going to putt it. Post. We will take a par. So far, though, I've liked this course. These greens are not easy. They're fun. And if they give us a fast, that's going to be a lot of fun. Mm, again, you got to flirt with this. You don't want to end up rough. Played perfect. Yep. Lava wedge coming in. Ooh, look at this beast. I think I might actually use a sand wedge here because I don't want this to roll that much. Wow, look at this green. I mean, I could try bringing a gap and lofting it a ton. Get it to stop. Oh, we're on a downhill slope, though, too. I just need this to sit some. Okay. Oof. This green, this green's not playing games. Yeah, that, ooh, that's a fun green. I'm interested to see what they do with uh, two, three, and four pins. Three under, just have that one out of OB that, that we had. A little bit more straightforward. Three down, we got a three mile an hour wind. I'm gonna loft this a little bit. And we fasted it. So it's gonna go long. We're gonna have a downhill plot here. This plot's gonna be tough. Mm-hmm. We're right on the edge of a yellow, too. Get in there. Nice. Okay. Putting putting's not uh I'm reading these greens well. Got another birdie there. Four under. Another par five. Second one. Dog leg right here. We want to keep this pretty much middle of the fairway. Wow, my swing. Swinging a wet noodle right now. This should be safe. Short par five so far. 214. Probably hybrid this in. Ooh, that's a pretty nasty green. I actually think I kind of want to slightly draw this in. Too much. Damn, I didn't I didn't aim. That would have probably been really good. I didn't aim enough. I didn't aim enough uh the name enough right. Because you got a battle. Look at that. That's. 
Oh, this is actually going to come out pretty, pretty nasty. Too much. Oh boy, we're probably going to take home a bogey here. I came out a little hot. Fasted it though, so it's going to happen. Break? Mm, close. I don't know why. I am actually... I am actually pulling everything, though. That's interesting. I have to pay attention to my backswing. So, 400 through the front nine. Front nine was really good. I, I, I like that. I like that a lot. That's a very good design right there. The greens are, are difficult, but not unrealistic. Back to fasting everything slightly. Got to hold, hold at the top a little bit. Fairways have a little bit of a... You can get away with a lot. Everyone should just want to put this right at the pin. Hold it again. Shit. Come back. Oh. Oh, you can funnel that back nicely if you miss the left. Okay. Yeah, I am pulling it. Dude, I don't think... I, have, I haven't I have had a noodle like that in a while. That is a bad swing. But we got away with a birdie here. Ooh, a little drivable par four. Okay. You can hit it long. It will come back. There we go. Oh. Yep. Okay. That's actually not bad. I'm going to bet with some of the wind, you're probably going to have to drive it, but you're probably going to have to fade it in hard uh, into this hole. But you get on for at least a chance. See what we got here. Mm, decent speed. Probably could have got with it a little bit harder. Not a terrible line for that putt. All right, birdie. That's fun though. You got a lot. Of you got a lot of short par five, short par four. So you're gonna have chances at eagles. Of course, it's all dependent on wind, but... Okay, you want to keep this right side. Again, it funnels over to the left. Uh, but me pulling everything. Alright, it doesn't funnel as much, so... It wasn't too bad. We're going to have another downhill lie, though. Chance of birdie. Got to get my distances down a little bit here. A lot of down, a lot of downhill lies. Um, it's gonna make it come off a little bit high off the club, and you're gonna get a pretty big bounce and roll off those. So, stay up. Perfect. I, I feel like I'm reading these greens pretty good, though. Three straight birdies to start the back. Swinging a wet noodle, too, which is surprising. Not bad. Ooh, this screen gets a little crazy back here, though. Something to be aware of for future rounds. Oh, slowed that one. Oh, drop right in the hole. Almost did. 
Man, if I wouldn't have slowed that, that probably would have been... It probably would have been pretty good. Okay, it comes back right, so it's going to straighten out. Let's do just outside. Hmm. Okay. I pulled it again. Look at this wet noodle I'm swinging. What the heck? I'm getting away with a lot. Four straight birdies, though. Another fairly short. Is that downhill? Level? That is not hazard. Okay. And it might actually be better to play it off to the right. But again, this is all light rough, so that's okay. But it might be good to play it off to the right. Would have had more green to work with, too, I guess. Ooh, this is... Wowzer, look at this green. Holy cow. Pulling everything, dude. Pulling everything. Man, thank you so much for that tip, because holding that thing back is so much better. Alright, we saved it. We went up and down. I might have to figure that noodle out, though. Very strange. 8 under through 14. Not bad. That still have that one big mistake going OB. I really like this course so far, though. A lot. Damn. Distance would have been alright, too. We got a lot to figure out here. Ooh, this is a bad lie. You can plug this right in there. Not a bad up out of there. Hardly moving. Pulled it again. Got away with it, though. I wonder if I'm, like, taking my finger off. Oh, look at that perfectly placed sand tramp. <laughs> uh. See, the thing is, this is a short course, so you can actually probably... Let's try to three-wood this down so we don't have to battle that sand tramp. I want to see what distances we get out of this. Yeah, see, it's a 7 iron in. Hell, it's an 8 iron in. Hell. Uh, yeah, we can 8 iron this in. This should make it. We'll deal off just a little bit. Still pulling everything. Well, that would have been good if I would have hit green. That probably would have got up. I held that back a little too long. Let's see if we can get up and down here. Alright. Up and down at least. Eight under. I'm bad. I think this course has a lot of potential for the other uh, pin selects as well. All right, you got to try to ride the line here. Might be playing this from light rough. Yeah, we will be. All right, so we're going to have to fade that in a little bit. The dog leg. Oh, shit. Well. 
Green's not that bad. Too much. I had to try to play that out though. That was a rock and a hard place right there. Sit. Man, we're gonna have to get up and down again. A putt too, probably. Not terrible. When you're swinging a wet noodle, though, anything can happen. Still swinging that wet noodle, dude. If I wouldn't have pulled that, that probably would have been good. Hmm. Weird. Like, I'm starting off too far right. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, that time I was looking down at my swing, my back swing, and it looked fine. All right, let's actually try to make this sucker, huh? There we go. That was a lot better. Maybe I just don't just don't pay attention to it. I took a double bogey there. Shit. Okay. I probably should test this stuff out. Ooh, long par five. I probably should test this stuff out. Uh, not on the course. Yeah. See if I don't look at it, don't pay attention to it. Pretty straight. <laughs> okay. All right. We will not be able to make this, by the way. Yeah, don't fall short. What's the green look like? Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, let's put this thing... Let's put this thing down here a little bit, huh? We definitely do not want to come at it from the right side. It's actually probably don't hit that slope. Okay, you need to be you need to be dead accurate on that. This is not playing games. There's a little calm zone straight at the hole that you have to hit perfectly so you don't run it down. Oh, come on. And I pulled it again. All right, we're going to we're I'm going to work on that after this. Can't be swinging a wet noodle going into the, going into the tournament. And that's exactly what that is, a wet freaking noodle. 6 under. I shouldn't uh, I I shouldn't have 17 was a farce and 3 whole 3 I didn't even know that that was OB. So, we can we can cut both those out and probably shoot a nice little 10 under if we can uh, not swing a wet noodle, essentially. A lot of chances for eagles at this course. A lot of chances at birdies. Probably going to be able to put up some pretty good numbers here at Mori Point. The greens are tough, and some of the fairways are tricky because they the designer has... It, you have to you definitely have to use drawing and fading in, uh, especially if we have to battle the wind. We'll see what the wind does. But he used it in a way so that you have a really good shot of tailing off into the rough. I mean, granted, it is light rough, which is good, but a lot of chances to tail off into the rough, so you're not getting a clean swing. A lot of downhill lies, too, that you're going to have to work with. Overall, I think this course is built very well. This is, a, this is a very good course. We'll see you know what happens with round two, three, and four. Hopefully they don't put pins in the middle of yellows. The greens were were challenging but fair uh, for round one pins. So that's what we're going to be working with. Not too bad. I mean, six under, I could definitely have done better. And hopefully we do uh, do better when it comes to uh, tournament time for the Amazon Prime Golf Classic. Thank you for watching, though. I appreciate it very much. Uh, if you made it this far and you enjoy this content, make sure to give it a like. Think about maybe giving me a nice little subscribe as well. We do do this every week, Sunday for introduction to the course, and Tuesday through Friday, my rounds one, two, three, and for. So if you can come back and uh, watch those rounds. I also stream over at Twitch, twitch.tv slash respawn TV. We'll be streaming tonight, five o'clock. We're playing some Escape from Tarkov.
when I stream Sunday through Thursday, starting at five o'clock and going into the night. So if you like this content, you're interested in what other content I do, you can find it over there, twitch.tv slash Respawn TV. Thanks for chilling. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And we'll be back here on Tuesday for round one of the Amazon Prime Golf Classic at Maury Point Golf Club. Thanks for watching. Thanks for chilling. Have a good one. Talk to you then. Adieu.